Alright, so what I want to do in this video series is uh, first I just want to show you guys how to get the uh, this uh, Jupyter Notebook running so that you can learn more about the Quantum Information Systems Kit and programming for uh, quantum computing in Python. Alright, so kind of set everything up here and I'm going to show you exactly how I did this on Ubuntu I'm using Ubuntu 14.04 alright so move this stuff out of the way over to my other screen here okay so the so first thing I'm going to do is open up a terminal and I'm kind of get everything set up so this is my overall instructions which are going to be under uh, the under the video in the description. So first thing, open up the terminal, and then what we're going to do is uh, so I'm already in uh, this just a home folder, and I'm going to cd. Well, no, I'm just going to stay here. But what you want to do is go ahead and uh, make a directory for quantum just what I'm going to call this directory and then cd into that alright so uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to if you don't already have python 3 uh, you're going to need that for this tutorial so, so I'll show you guys just uh, you can use the uh, commands that I have right there in the description PPA, what is it? Jonathan F. Python 3.6. Alright. Okay. Hit enter, and so that adds it. Uh, then you can sudo app get update. sudo sudo <laughs> have to get up date I've already done this so I'm not gonna update mine right now because it takes forever but sudo app get install uh, python 3.6 hey yes Alright, so when all that's done, you should have pip3 through the uh, Python package, but so what you want to do is uh, sudo pip3 and we're going to install the Jupyter Notebooks uh, program. So sudo pip3 install Jupyter, 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 <laughs> okay. so what's going on here alright so what I ended up having to do here was uh, instead I used pip instead of pip3 so um, depending on which version of pip you have you should be able to uh, sudo pip install uh, Jupyter alright so, all right, so once you get Jupyter installed the next thing you're looking for is uh, you want to clear this out. All right, so um, still here in the quantum folder, but we don't have anything in it yet. So we're gonna clone the uh, repository for the quantum information systems kit. So it's gonna be git clone https colon slash slash uh, and then github.com slash capital quantum information systems kit with a capital K slash kiss kit SDK Python 
All right, so, and then once that is added, uh, go on and CD into it. All right, so you can see inside of here, we have this qconfig.py default uh, file. And so what we're gonna do is copy that to just be qconfig.py. So just cp capital Q config um, dot pi dot default to q config dot pi. All right, and then use whatever text editor you have. If you have Sublime, Gedit, um, I'm using Sublime. You may have Idle, whatever text editor you're using. Open up this new file that we just created, the q config dot pi. All right, and it's off screen. Here it is. Okay, so what we see here is this line that's commented out. It says put your API token here. So what we need is an API token. All right, so the way that we're gonna get that is you're going to go to. Let's see if I can pull this up. Um, let's see, IBM Quantum Experience. Right, and so it's this uh, bluemix.net, and right now it's got this Halloween thing going on. That's not that's not usual, but create an account here with IBM, and then uh, you can go to my account and advanced. All right, and then you'll see your token here. So what you want to do is copy that token and replace, put your token here. All right? Save that and close it. Verify that it's here, right there. All right, and then the next thing is uh, we're going to get the, let's see, set up the environment and install so if I if I go back out one folder I have this uh, SDK pi directory I'm gonna put another directory right next to it that is going to be referenced and it's gonna have a file in it that we'll use to open up the notebooks alright so this is uh, this is in the comments but we're gonna go to this website here so I'll open that up if I can and all right okay and then go down to section 1.1 1 .1 or up let's see okay 1.1 1 .1 right here install standalone um, so all it is is we're gonna open this up right here and that's gonna be our install right so uh, I'm gonna open it with the archive manager but you don't necessarily have to you can extract it any other way but then alright so uh, extract it into this folder here right and so what that did is it just put this tutorial folder right next to the other one like I said so okay and then the next thing that we'll do is just run this Jupyter Notebook index.ipynb right so I'll just ls again and show you that it's it's here and then we're gonna cd into that Alright, and this is the one that we're going to be running. So just paste our command, Jupyter Notebook index.ipymv, and it should start the web server. And there it goes. So now we have all this information uh, in the. for uh, all this information for the quantum information systems kit. And it kind of explains a whole lot more. 
and that's the stuff in the rest of the video series that we'll be going through alright guys so thanks you can subscribe if you want to see more of these videos coming up and how to do them and uh, yeah we'll be back later